Hey. Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany Lanier and welcome to The Newbie Spot. I'm basically my purpose is to help entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs better understand marketing down to the basics. So starting this Monday, you can find a marketing Monday video on the Newbie Spot, Newbie Spot YouTube channel. So I'll be taking any questions that you might have no matter what it is on online marketing, offline marketing, I'll be answering your questions. So you can email me at the newbie spot at gmail.com. And on the first and third Thursdays of every month, I'll be doing a Google Hangout with marketing experts. And so I'm very excited to announce that I have the social media girl, mm -hmm. Cynthia Johnson, on the line with us tonight. Hey, Cynthia. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so How much, Tiffany. You? Oh, thank you for coming on. I'm so excited. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah. So tonight, everyone, in case you didn't know, you're just tuning in, we're going to be talking about Twitter. We're discovering Twitter. If you don't know what Twitter is, you're going to find out now. If you're utilizing Twitter, but you're not even sure how to really work it or make it work for you, for your personal life or your business, we're going to get into that right now. So, Cynthia, tell us a little bit of how you became the social media girl. Not just a social media girl, but the <laughs> social media girl. Um. Well, I'm, I'm very big on, on branding, and I, I lived in Las Vegas during high school, and they, Mandalay Bay created the hotel, and everyone talked about it. Oh, it's the hotel, the hotel, and I was like, wow. I mean, that's one way to get noticed, you know, it's just, um, and, and not only that, but every time I walk into a room and anyone who works in social media and is female would know, um, you're introduced as the social media girl nine times out of ten, so I was like, you know, I'm just going to go with it. No one else is using it, so... Here we go. <laughs> Build a brand around it. Build a brand I around it. Exactly. I think that's happened to me a lot. I'm either the marketing girl or <laughs> yeah. the social media girl. So whatever client they introduce me, I'm that girl. So I I definitely get that. So why social like why is social media so important for businesses in personal use today? Why are we so we're such a frenzy over it? Why is it important for people to use it too? I you know, it's because for instance, back in the day, you know, experiences with businesses happened at your business, um, and now they're happening before they even get in the door. You know, they're asking your, their friends is different than asking the entire internet world. Like, I can go and say anything I want about your business, and if you aren't there to say something for yourself, you're not in the argument against yourself because people will be talking about you, and to have that support system and a place where you can reach out to your customers, um, clients, potential clients, whatever it is, and and level the playing field because, you know, with things like Yelp and now Google reviews and and whatnot, you know, you even your competitors are going to go on and try to right. make you look a certain way. You have to stick up for yourself and you have to build awareness of your brand. Um, and the only way really to, to do that uh, is by being online because so many people are going there first. They're not going for their own experience and then deciding. They're looking online and saying, oh, they have four stars. Uh, oh, this person knows them on Twitter or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to go there or I'm not going to go there. Right. Definitely. I mean, I agree. That's why I tell all my clients that you can have your offline strategies, but everyone's online anyways. So why not get the eyes to where you want them to be exactly. by engaging with your customers and your <laughs> fans online. So right now in this section, we're going to talk strictly about Twitter. Everything Twitter. Um, I'm going to go off and just start asking you questions and you can, you know, elaborate or interact. And if anyone else has any questions on Twitter, make sure you, um, you can write us on Twitter right now um, at Live with Tiffany or Cynthia Live <laughs> and hashtag the newbie spot, okay? And I'll answer your questions to you. So the first question is, what is Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is in Twitter? Um, right. Twitter is, is a breaking news source. It's uh, an SEO tool. It's a chat room. It's uh, a place to connect with your friends. It's a place to vent. It's a place to uh, get customer service issues handled very quickly. Uh, it's a it, it's a place where people go to connect with 
uh, the world in far away places, and I have made friends everywhere. I'm sure you have as well, um, and and it can be used in so many different levels. If if for instance, you know, um, we had a, a helicopter swarming around my house the other night, and the news story didn't break, so I just got on Twitter and immediately I knew, and I met all my neighbors at the same time. So that was, that was really cool. I was like, oh great, nice to meet everybody. Um, and and for a business, you know, it's it's a great place where you can actually set alerts and and hear what people are saying about you, um, and and communicate with them immediately. So, I mean, I think from a business standpoint, uh, Twitter is the fastest way to the customer or to uh, the issue if there is one. Right. It's a quick. It's a quick source. I know that for me personally even though I've been utilizing Twitter for my clients over the past few years, I rarely got into it for my personal use until recently. Right. And I've just, obviously, I met you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you. I have gotten to meet and interact with so many people over just over the last few weeks even, um, and it's amazing. I just moved to Denver um, a month ago and started interacting with people here in Denver, met up with them and everything just from being on Twitter. So yeah. it's definitely something that anyone can use to build your business as well as build personal relationships. So do you think that 140 characters is effective? Because that's what <laughs> that's all you can write, right? Yes. Um, yeah. Actually, I think it's more effective than not having a limit, honestly, because you get to the point. You say exactly what you mean. Um, even when it comes to, like, uh, search engines, when people are looking for you, right? Like, the uh, search engines like Google, they're looking for those keywords. And if right. they give you more than 140 characters, how long is it going to take you, if you ever even get to the keyword? In 140 characters, you sum it up, you, you're talking directly, you know, in a manner that is very specific, which is very important. Um, people have a very very small attention span these days, and being specific is is great. Uh, you know, I run the weekly social media chat, and people answer and ask questions in 140 characters. Never have a problem. Um, I might have the opposite problem. Sometimes I stop at 140 characters, and I'm like, wait, I'm keep right. going. <laughs> yeah. um, I think yeah, I think absolutely it's it's better by far. It's more concise, I guess. More concise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people are probably still trying to figure out the whole fans and followers and how to gain traction yeah. on social media platforms. How do you gain followers on Twitter and get people interested in what you have to say or your brand? Um, you know, so so the, the thing about it that people seem to get wrong often is that uh, it's, it has nothing to do with what I say about myself and there's nothing to do with what you say about your brand. It has everything to do with what people say about you. Um, so I start with effective advanced searches. Um, you know, if I was a small business, I might target, you know, people in my area in a certain certain topics uh, and then target their followers and, and follow them and communicate with them. You know, um, we have a mutual interest immediately. Make that the priorities that we have a mutual interest, not the fact that you're selling them something or you're so much better and let me tell you how to live your life and oh, I'm just, I'm this guru. No, it's like, hey, you know, like I noticed this and, you know, we might be on the same level, let's have a conversation. And then if that happens, they're already interested in you and when you send out those self-promoting tweets or business promotional tweets, like it, it doesn't feel so contrived and like right. aggressive. Yeah, so it doesn't just feel like all you're doing is pitching people on. Right, them. yeah. Nobody likes to pitch best. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so why, well, I guess we kind of answer that, why businesses should use Twitter, and it's really to for that brand awareness, to mm -hmm. be where the people are, right? So we don't have to go right. through that again. Yeah. But <laughs> how can you provide value on Twitter? Uh, there's so many different ways. Um, in from a business standpoint, you know, you you have a brand. If you have a big brand, especially, it's so easy. You know, you know like someone says, um, you know, I really loved, uh, you, know, you know, your iced tea, the raspberry flavor, or something, right? And then mm -hmm. you see that, you turn around and say, Oh, great, thank you so much. Glad you like the raspberry one. You know, send me a direct message, and we'll you know ship the blueberry one out for you to try. I mean, like you're 
you're in their face. You're ha you're in their heads. They're not they're not tweeting, "Hey, Coca Cola, like your product is delicious." That's <laughs> like a thought that they had that you weren't able to hear before. Now you can hear that thought, and you have to utilize it. And right. And, and that, and also acknowledging customer loyalty, and, and in the chat that I do, sometimes I'll have people name brands that um, they think are doing a really good job, and then I'll say, hey, you know, uh, Chipotle actually did a great job of Chipotle, you know, Stephanie just said hi, and you're doing an amazing job on Twitter, what, what do you think of that? And then they send her a message, and, you know, I've had brands, I won't name them, who don't, and I think that's, you know, kind of... Kind of poor not, customer service. Poor <laughs> customer service, right. It's, right. It just doesn't reflect the brand nice. So pay attention. That's, that's the key, really. <laughs> right. So it allows it allows your business or your brand to interact with potential customers, your current customers, as well as you get the good and the bad feedback, yeah. which is still good. <laughs> bad feedback is still good yeah. because you need to know what you can do to change that, right? right. So it's all it possible. Exactly. Gives you that opportunity to fix it, whereas before, you know, they just went home and said, I didn't like it, and I'm not going back. Well, now you're like, you didn't like it? Let me give you a reason to come back. Right. Awesome. So, what's a good Twitter game plan? When you, let's say you just started, <laughs> just got an account, what's the first thing that you should do? Or who should you start following? Ooh. Okay. Um, if your company, I'm assuming this is where we're going, <laughs> um, I would find um, keywords and set up a nice profile. That would be my first thing. Um, and then once that's done, and you know, I see this all the time, there's really great people, a lot of great things to say. They don't have a website linked, they don't have any information listed, and it doesn't matter who you follow, like, they're not going to take the time to figure out who you are. You have to tell them up front and then go to you know, find people. Um, after that, again, you know, you own a business, you already know who you think is doing really well in the industry, find them. Um, and you probably already know who your brand advocates already are, find them. And that's, that's where you have to start, is uh, from what you know. From, right. from the bottom. Yeah. I agree. Okay, next question. What, I guess, how should businesses interact on Twitter? I know we talked briefly about not having you be a pitch, you know, having a pitch fest, right. constantly <laughs> selling, 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 selling. Mm -hmm. But what's the best way to go about interacting, even with your competitors? Um, there are a few ways. Uh, you can uh, lend friendly advice. You know, I did this. Um, there was like a red vine competition happening. It was vine app, red uh, campaign. Um, the red is the AIDS awareness campaign. And I just tweeted at red vines and I said, hey, I think you're missing a big opportunity here with the little link. And then immediately they made a video and said thank you and you know, and that was a connection that I made simply by just seeing, you know, oh this is advice that I can give in a nice way. It's not, you know, it's not like they're doing something wrong, it's just maybe they don't know about it. Uh, Another way is to ask people questions, um, aggressive, you know, tactics like saying, "Hey, do this. Come like me. If you know, come like me on Facebook." Versus, "Hey, could you check out my Facebook page and tell me if you see something I'm doing wrong?" I'm going to check out that person who asked me the questions Facebook page, guaranteed. Um, right. You know, it's you have to be humble and you have to acknowledge something about the person that themselves you can't just jump in and say look at me look at me you know you live in you know India and I'm here in America and I'm trying to sell you Thai <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work that way. Like, right. this is an international situation people <laughs> so I agree awesome so who are your top five tweeters oh um, I have a few people um, Gosh, so many. So there's a couple of people that I'd love to, to follow. Some people that I I just you know love to follow because they are hilarious. Um, for instance, uh, B. Ben Landis. Uh, he's a musician. He's got like a million and a half followers, and he's a crazy. I don't even know. He just he creates. He went to school for um, was it studied music so that people would get addicted to it. 
So he has this like SoundCloud thing, and that's really fun. So I would like to hear from him because it's an interesting topic. Um, you know, need unique. Uh, I like to follow. You know, um, anybody who any CEOs. Um, you know, CEO of like so, like CEO, CEOs and social media marketers. Like for instance, um, Paul Slakey of LinkedIn. You should follow him for sure. Um, you should follow people who run social media websites. Um, you know, I have I have a list uh, a list separate from my feed that I check regularly of uh, about 200 people, and and those are my my go to marketing advice tips section. And then once or twice a week, I'll go through the larger feed, and when I see somebody who says things that that are relevant, I'll add them to a list or that list. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Is Twitter, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, yeah. is that your favorite strategy? <laughs> my fa it's, it's not honestly my favorite. I would say that it is the, um, I'm perhaps a little bit of an impatient person in, in this industry. You can't be that way. I'm sure you know that. Um, and Pinterest is, or Twitter is so immediate, you know. You you send something out there. You connect with someone. You can. It's just it's super fast. And it's, it's once you get the hang of it, it's easy. It's like a real conversation in a lot of ways. Um, it's it's also the most criticized in the news, mm -hmm. which means it's also the the most um, you know looked at for those purposes. And everyone knows that viral content on the news is great. So I think that in those senses, yeah, that's my favorite. Um, but you know there are a few others that take a little bit longer to do, and maybe I'm just working on it. <laughs> I mean, Twitter. It's true because every time you watch like a news show or just a show in general that's a talk show of some sort, they'll always be like, "So on Twitter, X Y Z person said you know something along these lines." So it allows everyone to get that feedback instantly. Right. Conversation continues to flow. And, and what's a hashtag going into the next question? What is okay. a hashtag and why do people use it anyway? So uh, a hashtag is, so it's, it's, you know, it's evolved over the years. Initially a hashtag was so that Twitter could pull up certain words in their search. Um, now what it is is the hashtags have become conversations. So for instance, you don't, if I said, um, you know, I'm going to the zoo, hashtag, you know, zoo, I don't have to do that, you know, because it doesn't, doesn't right. like, Twitter will pick it up anyway. The hashtag will throw you into a conversation. So, like, you know, hashtag, F, you know, FML or hashtag YOLO, for instance. Right. Um, then anyone who's, who's searching that can see that. Um, on, on the business side of it, you know, not just the Twitter conversational side, um, you can hashtag certain keywords. You know, um, for instance, if you are a grocery store in Idaho, you can hashtag Idaho grocery store. And um, hashtags are now working as similar to links. They're not as powerful, but they are. Do they are sending like positive um, SEO signals. So. They don't need to be used in, in, in the sentence at all. <laughs> they just need to be used for search purposes, um, for topics that you aren't already mentioning in the text. So does that, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Um, yeah, so you don't have to say, I'm going to the hashtag mall to go buy a pair of hashtag shoes, and then in the sentence, hashtag shoe shopping or <laughs> shoes or something. You're right, right. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, you can just say, you know, I'm going to the mall, I'm shopping for shoes, you know, hashtag leave us on if you want to. Forget it if you don't want to. Right. I don't know if you guys leave us on, but <laughs> okay. hashtag it if you do. <laughs> so. Did you see the um, Justin Timberlake and who was it? Um, mm -hmm. What's his name? The comedian. Yeah, talking. <laughs> I, I, I can't think of his name. Is that hashtag oh, that conversation? That hashtag video, and they were just hashtagging yeah. everything. I thought that was really funny. And, an, an, I guess, an emphasis on that everyone hashtag <laughs> everything now. And then it's also becoming, like, normal conversation. Like, yeah. when you speak sometimes, you'll end up hashtagging something, which doesn't make any sense 
in the verbal <laughs> community. No. Rather, unless you're trying to trend something yeah. in the air, it doesn't really make much sense, right? Right. No, exactly. I mean, people are also getting tattoos. I did this whole like thing about hashtag tattoos. It's really popular. So um, hashtags are in. That's for sure. Just um, a side note, though, Justin was completely wrong. <laughs> Oh, was he? <laughs> yeah, my uh, my space is losing mad search power because of the, the lack of hashtags. Sorry, Justin. Um, <laughs> you gotta get with the hashtags. Don't make fun of them. Just get with it. Yeah. So, what is your, I guess I would say number one advice for new Twitter users? Oh, um, my number one advice would be to start conversations. Do a search for any topic that you know of, answer questions, and, and make connections. Um, that's the only way you're going to get followers unless your first you know, 100 followers are your friends and their friends or whatever. Um, because, and, and follow people that are relevant to your topic. You know, make sure that you're not just on there saying, why is not anyone paying attention to me? Because there's, you know, there's a lot of you. So yeah. go out there. Um, People ask questions all the time, and, and not just Miley Cyrus. I'm talking like actual people, and you can answer them. And and maybe you know, I, I there was actually a couple of things that have happened over the past couple of weeks, and I've gotten you know like five. You know, I even call them Twitter friends. They're Twitter friends, not even followers. You know, um, so definitely do that. Like, don't just tweet. Like, go out into the search world and find them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can definitely vouch for that because I know at a certain point I wasn't really utilizing Twitter that much. I'm like a huge Instagrammer, so Instagram is connected to my Twitter. Yeah. So I was just, you know, sending the Instagram over to Twitter. So it was like filling my tweets, but yet I wasn't really on Twitter to interact with anybody at any given time. <laughs> so... I can say that I definitely didn't gain any followers by not, you know, just because I was tweeting technically every day via Instagram didn't mean that anyone was interacting with me right. because I wasn't interacting with them. But as I've been, you know, really on it, interacting with people, reaching out to people, following others who are like-minded or interested in the same things, then all of a sudden there's a huge shift in people who are genuinely interested in what you have to talk about. Right. Exactly, and that's really the thing is like you're talking, um, and no one wants to sit in a room where someone is just talking at them. <laughs> right. And you know that person that never lets you speak. Like, that's not fun at all. It's the same. <laughs> a lot of online uh, experiences are the same as if they were offline. So if you're not just going to walk in a room and you're the only person talking, and you don't let anyone else speak, it's it's the same thing, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Social media. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So what are the Twitter no-nos to be aware of? Like, just don't do it. <laughs> okay, let's really start. Um, no, no, there's, um, you know, anything goes. Just, just you have to remember that, um, and celebrities and politicians should get this, is that you're sending a message out into into the world that you can't take back, and, and anybody who comes across it can read it. So, like, the first thing is, um, don't be mean. Fact. Um, like, social media is about being nice. There's nothing social about being mean. That's called a fight. And that social engagement doesn't last very long, so don't do it. It's really not worth it, you know? Um, there was a girl last night who tweeted something about um, a stereotype, and it was in defense of herself, and so I just responded with a, a fact. And, you know, we had to talk about it, and I was like, look, you can't just argue. They're, this woman doesn't. She's looking for an argument. Just get hit her with cold hard facts and smile. Cause that's that's going to be your reputation. Like that's what's going into ink. Not this argument that is is pointless. You know, especially if it gets retweeted. Like you can't delete that. So right. remember that. Yeah. So be careful what you say. <laughs> yeah. Or what you uh -huh. tweet or type out because I guess it's true. I mean, on all the platforms for the most part. You know, you can delete something yourself, but if it gets reposted or retweeted or something, yeah. it's always going to be there and it's always uh -huh. attached to you. So be careful um, when you're just 
going off at the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It really depends on, especially if you're a business person and you're trying to build, you know, a reputable brand. You don't just want to just say anything and everything, unless that's a part of your business. Right. I mean, <laughs> that, yeah. that's something that you think is going to benefit you. You know. Yeah. I mean, that's that's fine. Um, <laughs> um, oh, and the one thing I learned this recently is block anybody who's mean to you. Like, don't engage them. Like, if they're aggressively mean for no reason, they look like a spam account, like, block them. Um, and I've had a few issues with this, and I know I used to work for a live team uh, website, and it's an issue across the board on the Internet. So just be, you know, just be aware that some people aren't making friendly arguments. So if it seems a little aggressive, just block them immediately. Right. That's definitely good advice. Um, so speaking of bullying, I guess I, this is just you know a little off the my list here, mm -hmm. but I know that especially for teenagers, bullying can be a very huge issue on the internet, and some adults too. I mean, we hear about celebrities who fight each other via the Twitterverse all the time. Um, how do we? I mean, I know we can block, but how do we just not at all engage in that? Or try not to contribute to you know the the harsh words or the violence and over the internet. Uh, you cut out just until the oh. end, and, and I, I get what your question is, but can you see me? I can see you. Yes. Okay, great. That's all I was. <laughs> um, um. So so basically, you're asking um, what what are the safety precautions to take, or well, that and what can we do to help maybe even fight the bullying ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is on a personal, not really a brand thing, but on a personal Twitter note, what can we do to help that? Um, stop it. <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there's a lot of things. Um, you know, if you see it happening, you can reach out to the person being being bullied. Uh, that's one thing people don't do. They seem to they attack the, the bullier, which doesn't do much, um, but make that person want to be more aggressive. So the best thing um, to do is to say, you know, hey, I see that this person's harassing you. Is there anything that I can do to help? Don't say, hey, leave that girl alone, because all you're doing is opening that door for yourself. Um, and I experienced this personally once. Uh, recently, I wrote a blog post about bullying, and, you know, didn't go over too well. So <laughs> just be aware um, to make sure that, you know, and you can always report the person yourself to whoever, you know, every social media account has, um, you know, a place where you can report these kinds of things, where you can alert them. Uh, you know, you can actually have police sent to certain, to their IP address if you think that someone's in danger. Um, just utilize the, the safety tools that each social media platform has. Um, and I believe with, with Twitter, other than the blocking, you can actually tweet at, I think it's uh, Twitter security or something. Um, I, I can look it up and send it to you, though. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. So to wrap things up, because I, I know like people probably <laughs> have places to go, and you're still at the agency. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I don't wanna... <laughs> so we're gonna do a sixty second flash. So okay. I'm just gonna ask you a series of questions and see if we can get them answered within the next minute. So okay. yeah, you don't know them ahead of time, Steve. <laughs> so just... Ooh, okay. So where were you born? Uh, Simi Valley, California. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. East Coast or West Coast? West Coast. The next country you want to visit? Ooh, uh, Hungary. Hungary. Interesting. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Ooh, mm, probably purple. <laughs> purple. And purple? I yeah. like that one too. What's your favorite app? Ooh, um, the Facebook fan page app. It sounds ridiculous, but in my world, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. What's your favorite wine? Uh, Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Favorite beer? Uh, IPA. <laughs> yeah. IPA. Do you have a Twitter crush? Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, there's this one guy out of Chicago. <laughs> 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 He's really cute, but he's real, so I'm not going to say anything more. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite electronic device? Uh, probably my blow dryer. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> know. Uh, um, I know. Uh, uh, my iPad Mini, because okay. I can take it anywhere. It's not intrusive. And do you karaoke? Do I karaoke? I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, I do. Yeah. So. Me too. Okay, next time I'm in California, we're going karaoke. Okay. Uh, what's your song? <laughs> what? Wait, what's your song? That I karaoke. Um, uh, I do so many songs. Yeah. No, I like to do Disney songs or Broadway just to like mm -hmm. piss everybody off. Next time, at the end of the night, you gotta sing "Lean on Me." I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can Killer. definitely do that. That's so good. We, yeah. we can do that next time I come to LA. Perfect. <laughs> thank you so much, Cynthia. Well, thank you. Time yeah. out to do this brief interview on Twitter. Uh, where can everyone find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, at Cynthia Live. You can find me at CynthiaLive.com. Uh, you can find me Mondays on Twitter at 1 o'clock uh, Pacific time for a social media chat at um, hashtag the SM girl, T H E S M girl. Dot, and you can find me at the SM girl.com as well. Awesome. And yes, and for me, you can find me on both handles on all accounts uh, at Live with Tiffany or at the Newbie Spot. And I'll be coming out with the next marketing video on Monday. So make sure you guys check that out. And until next time, tweet us anything that you have or that you would like us to know so that we can start tweeting with each other so we can all be friends. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And followers and fans of each other. So I will see everyone on the next video or the next Google Hangout. Thank you so much, Cynthia. I'll talk to Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>